I hope most of you have already used Photoshop. So if you have used Photoshop, you're probably familiar with the clone stamp tool. It allows you to paste detail from one part of an image to another part. So when ZBrush 2020 was released, a similar brush was released with it. And let's see how it works. So if you have this exercise file, you can download uh, this exercise file. The link is given in the description. It's uh, We have a terrain over here and it's on a flat surface. And let's see, we want to get some of the uh, this same terrain detail onto a spherical shape. So let's go ahead and add a new object to our scene. So what I will do is here, I will just go to the sub tool here and append. And what append will do is we'll just add without removing or replacing any sub tool here. So I will go to append and I will append the square 3D and it will be appended. But for now, I will just hide it. So now I have that uh, object on my screen, which is basically that uh, sphere. So one more thing I can do here is that and I will change my material to a basic material so I can see more clearly uh, the, the terrain here. And let's see if I have basic material too. So this is much more better so I can see the highlights over here, which will tell me which part is pinching, which is going outwards or inward. Now, I'm going to hide, uh, I already have uh, hidden the, the, my uh, sphere here. And now what I have to, uh, what I will do is that I will just go to the brushes and I will search for the brush, which is called extractor brush. So there are a couple of different kinds of extractors here, so extractor and other, so I will choose the ex, ex, uh, extractor here. Now. What is the extractor brush tool? By default, this brush is not in the mode where it picks up the detail. It's like a clone brush tool which picks up the detail and that detail you can paste over or draw over any other tool over here. So by default, it's not in that mode. So what you need to do is that you just have to press G on your keyboard. So if I will press G on my keyboard, so you will notice that it will give me a blue outline over here. Now. This blue outline is basically tells us that we are now in this mode. So which is the detail capturing mode. So what we want to do is that we have to drag over the area that has the detail we want. So let's say I want to pick up this mountain range right here. So I'm just going to click and drag over this mountain range. And uh, one more thing is that uh, let me undo this. Okay, so let's redo this. And the brush size is basically going to uh, be also, you know, like the, like the size of the detail that's going to be captured is determined by the size of your brush. So if you want to have a bigger or smaller area captured, you can just uh, increase the size of your brush. Like suppose I want to increase the size of my brush because I want more area to be covered here. So that's why I did the undo. So now the bigger area will be uh, captured. So what I will do over here is that I will press the G again. Let me go to the starting point. I will press the G again over here. Then click and drag over that part which I want to capture for example here and as soon I'm done I will leave my mouse and you will notice that it will soon go to this alpha okay now what I have to do with that I have to go back to my primitive that I appended over here this is the sphere 3d and I will hide the my uh, terrain but this is kind of low poly because you know, the one that I have this terrain is kind of high poly. There are a lot of points over there. So I want to convert the sphere into high poly also. So I will go to the geometry here. And what I can do is that I can divide or the shortcut is control D. If I press on control D five times, maybe that's enough. Okay. Now, if I will go here and draw. So what it will do is that it will draw with that uh like uh, that part of 
the terrain that I selected. So if I will go here, so you can see that it is cre uh, creating that on my scene here. Okay. Now, if I don't want this intensity over here, so I can uh, reduce the intensity. And one more thing is that if you will go to stroke and modifier, you can uncheck the roll also. So if I will uncheck the roll and I will draw, so you can see it will start, uh, you know, drawing with the overlapping uh, like that like terrain. Okay, but for this time, I will just go to the roll here. Okay, and intensity, I will maybe a little bit lower down and then try. And you can see it is creating that, but with the lower intensity. So intensity is basically uh, assigned automatically depending on what you want to uh, you know apply here so you can see that how it is applying out here so this is how that extractor brush tools work so i captured that uh like terrain and then i was able to draw it over here so let's take a look at the other two extractor brushes let me undo this okay and let's go back to our train now if i will go to my brush settings over here so i have another br uh, extractor brush here which is known as the extractor dot so this one works out a very similar way where we just going to hit the g key okay and then i'm going to capture this once it is done now what I will do is that I will go back here to my X, uh, the primitive and if I will click and drag so you will see that it is clicking and dragging that one particular stamp here of the of whatever I have captured okay so if I will make the bridge smaller it will be a small capture if I will make it bigger so it will be a, a bigger capture as well. okay let me do one thing let's go back here and instead of for bring uh, you know let's uh, capture some small detail let's capture let's capture uh, let's uh, let us capture this one because it's quite small okay and now if I will go here and now if I will try so you can see that this one is quite more of uh, less you can say uh, like detail here okay now other one here we have is basically known as the extract uh, drag tool so this is the same like the drag tool that we use uh, here in our brushes so if i will press g on my keyboard and then capture oops sorry so if i will press g on my keyboard and click and drag so what it will do is that it will only capture that stamp like suppose this stamp if i want to capture and once i'm done it will be captured and if i will go to my primitive and then click and drag so you will see that the plane is being applied over here so you can see that detail is here so move around so you can see that what's going on over here so this is basically how you can apply the you can use the extractor brush tools and then you know uh if you want a fine and small details over here so what i can do here is that i can reduce my brush size here okay and then i can press the i can go back to my uh, extractor tool here okay and G and then capture whatever I want like suppose this part here actually it uh, works with the with the angle also so if I will make it a orthographical plane so it will be on this angle so G and then capture so this will be much more better so if I will go back here to my plane and draw over here so you can see that it's 
more perfect. Okay, and you can see the, the one that I copied is now in text just like that. So now, one point of the caution with extractor push is in my experiments with them, they can produce unexpected results. Some models just like this brush and some models don't. So if you get results that look really crazy or very, uh, weird, it might take a little experimentation. It might take extracting from a different object. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason as far as I can tell whether it's going to work well or not. So uh, still, you can see maybe in the future versions, they ca uh, it can be fixed. Okay, so here also you can see that the one that I'm trying to place is not exactly being placed, but it is doing something over here. So if you have liked my video, please uh, click on the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. And please motivate me by subscribing, by watching my video, giving me watch time hours, supporting me so I can make more and more content. So guys, take care and we'll meet in the next lesson. And until then, take care of yourself. Bye everyone.